starting the trail to Mount Defiance. This is gonna be my second attempt. Last time I ran into some boulder field and wasn't really sure how to proceed. I did a little bit of research on the trail and I'm kind of debating right now whether to go the long way around on the Iris Spring Trail or try the All Trails route again. So I'm just gonna warm up in this beginning part and, and then I'll decide. I've come to the fork in the road. What should I do? The trail to Mount Defiance, eight miles that way, or this way, which is easier, but it'll take 12 miles. I don't know if I have 12 miles in me today. I think I'm gonna do the shortcut, even though it was kind of dicey last time. Um, I looked at the trail map, so I think that I'm not gonna get confused this time. So, yellow. This is the trail. It's kind of a typical Washington trail. Steep, lots of tree roots, hard to uh, navigate, you just got to keep going, and um, it's just a steep across the roof. And I'm sweating really hard. <laughs> it's hot. Back to the fork in the road. The boulder field that I climbed last time. Now I know that the trail is indeed to the left, so I'm going to try that today and see how that goes. I think it'll work. I think this is a good snack spot. Um, I made it up here in an hour and I'm going to have a Pepsi and a granola bar before I head up the rest of the way to Mount Defiance. I was sure that it was going to be on this side. This is not a trail. Um, just totally dead ended here unless I wonder if that's it okay I'm gonna try this way holy shit I found the trail this is the most confusing trail ever I almost went back in the boulder field again and I'm like no I'm not gonna do that I mean I'm gonna try to find a different way or I'm turning around for the second time um, and yeah I think this is the trail. It looks like a trail to me. So as long as I get to the lake, I'll be happy. But if I feel like it, I'm gonna go for a Mount Defiance. Um, I don't know if I'll come down this though. We'll see. Uh, the trail. At least I didn't do that boulder field over there again. All right, we are connecting with the boulder field. There we go. I'm glad I didn't come up that way this time. Last time I was just lost in the boulders. This trail isn't much better, but I know I'll get to the lake. Wow, first view. Is that Mount Defiance up there? Shit, that looks far. I'm still in the weeds over here. Coming up, this is the trail. That view makes it all worth it. One more look back at the boulder field. My soundtrack for the hike today that's playing in my head is 50 Cent. And it's that part where he says, stash spot, wait. Wait, I messed up. He says, stash spot, Xbox, laptop, fax machine, phone, bulletproof this bitch and I'm gone. 
They was just arresting me because they know who I was. Spent the night in county. Taking it nice and slow and steady up this train. Yes. Made it to Mason Lake via the old trail. Oh, look at the doggy. And it's beautiful. I think it's peanut butter and jelly sandwich time. Ah, oh, Mason Lake. Beautiful. Fork in the road, going to Mount Defiance. On top of the Cascades, looking eye to eye with Mount Rainier. There she is, Mount Rainier. Almost to the summit. Oh, 500 feet more to go. And I can do anything for 500 feet. So pretty. A lot of mixed terrain. And going up there to the summit. look back toward Mason Lake. There's a lake down there. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty here. Love it. Yes, there's one hell of a drop off. Look at the wildflowers. Just so much variety. I think I'm pretty close to the junction and the final summit push. Oh wow, look at those. Alright, that must be it. Hello, Mount Defiance. The view from Mount Defiance, Mount Baker's over there, Mount Index, uh, Glacier Peak. I think that's Granite Mountain right there. There's Kula Kula Lake and Mason Lake. Epic views up here on top of Mount Defiance. The old trail was tough, but I didn't give up. I just kept trying to find a way. You know, Mount Rainier behind the clouds. Mount Adams in the distance. On top of the Cascades. On the summit of Mount Defiance. It's been real on top of the Cascades. There's Mount Rainier in the background. Mason Lake, so beautiful. So, I think I have a knee injury or some inflammation. It was bothering me the other day. Um, on Mailbox Peak, um, went on the descent. And today it's bothering me on the descent also. And I think I have like four more miles to go. It's been hurting for about two miles. So I don't have a jacket. I don't have 
anything to camp with. So I'm just gonna have to hike out. I took two Tylenol and I'm hoping that I can just make it down. Um, I'm seriously gonna have to rest my knee after this because it is hurting really bad. So now that I'm thinking about it, this actually happened to me one other time um, when I was hiking the Dipsy Trail in California. Um, it's like 10 miles and we thought, we thought it was a 10 mile hike and it was actually 10 miles one way. So when we had to hike back the complete Dipsy Trail, um, there's a lot of stairs on that trail a lot of like ups and downs it just rolls like up and down but there's the stairs on dipsy are brutal and i remember my knee hurt really bad when i did that hike oh my god it's so beautiful here anyway um i came with the old trail today and it was very dicey mixed terrain hard to find the trail I think I'm just going to take the new trail down, even though it's longer. I'm hoping that it will be easier terrain and that I'll be able to make it all the way down um, if the terrain is easier. Um, I don't think I'm up for like some bouldering right now. So anyway, cross your fingers. Hope that I make it down okay um, and out of this hike. I'm cutting over to the Irish Spring Trail. A view of Mount Defiance, looking up at Mount Defiance. A look back up at Mount Defiance. I finished the hike. I'm a little sore, but I got down safely. Um, I kind of went the long way around, but it was um, it was just a an easier terrain. If I had to decide again, I'd probably go the shorter way, but whatever. I finished the hike right around the time I wanted to uh, be done, like five minutes, give or take. Um, so yeah, Mount Defiance is really challenging. It's uh, hot up on the summit. There's um, a lot of bouldering and challenging terrain on the old trail. I think that the Ira Spring Trail is the easier way to go. Um, there's still a lot of elevation gain and uh, there's still a long push to the summit after uh, the Ira Spring Trail. Um, but yeah, the old trail is good if you want to just try to figure it out, figure out your way up and choose your own adventure. Uh, all right. So have a great one.